And I think healthy skepticism is an asset, not a liability. That doesn't mean you have to doubt what the technology can do, but you have to doubt what the technology can do if you think the technology is going to completely replace, for example, the banking system, or if the technology is going to get a shortcut on critical issues like financial crime compliance. And so that healthy skepticism that my younger self had in hindsight proved to be a really powerful asset throughout the course of my career in this industry, because the companies that have been the most durable and the investments that have had the most staying power and the best returns have been the ones in which crypto assets are presented as evolutionary and not revolutionary, and that the anti-establishment streak might have been a maximizer strategy as opposed to an optimizer strategy. My view of the world is these things are only meaningful to the extent they're usable by billions of people, and billions of people should not have a science experiment run with their money or their trust. And I think that's why you can't take shortcuts, as we've discussed in today's conversation.